and welcome to Nightline. I am your host for this evening. I am Annie T. Broughton, and as always, I am so thankful to the good Lord to be in your homes on this evening. We are going to have such a wonderful time tonight because I have some amazing guests with me tonight. I have Pastor Herbert Edwards, Jr. from um, Shady Grove Baptist Church. He's a senior pastor there, and also his lovely wife, uh, Lady Karen Smith Edwards, and also I have the Shady Grove uh, Church Choir with us tonight. I do have a scripture, though, I want to read for your hearing. Uh, it's listed from the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the eleventh and the twelfth verse from the King James Version, and it reads, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for edifying of the body of Christ. So again, we're going to have an amazing time tonight, and I just want you to call to everybody that you know and ask them to tune in to Nightline on tonight. Again, we have such an amazing choir, and, and God is going to use them so mightily, and they are the Shady Grove Baptist Church Choir, and they're going to be singing, He's Able. God bless. Amen. <laughs>
camera and point to the camera and say, he's able. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God that he's able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as you can see tonight, we are going to have an awesome time in God on tonight. That was the Shady Grove Baptist Church Choir out of Pelsa, South Carolina, singing, He's Able. And that's what we want to tell somebody tonight, that God is able. Well, I have two amazing <laughs> guests on the set with me tonight. I have Pastor uh, Herbert Edwards Jr. He's a senior pastor of Shady Grove Baptist Church. And then I have his beautiful wife, First Lady Karen Smith Edwards. And I'm telling you what? We're going to have church tonight <laughs> on the set on night line. So God bless you, God Pastor. Bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, First Lady. Hey. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> I am so super excited to have both of you on with me uh, on Nightline. I, I have been looking forward to this night for, for a couple of months now. Wow. <laughs> so well, thank you for being here. Well, we're so delighted and honored to be here on tonight. Yes. So how are you? Busy. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. We're busy, but we're blessed. <laughs> yes, I believe that. I know that you are, you wear many hats. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because you are also the assistant manager uh, at Watkins Garrett and Wood Mortuary. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Been there for what, 20, 28, 29 years now. You know, I, I've seen you there quite often, but I didn't know that you were the assistant manager. Yes, ma'am. I've been going to the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you've been talking to the right one. You've been talking to the right one. <laughs> so tell us about you and tell us about your beautiful wife. And, you know, I know you say you've been busy, but tell us about ministry. Just share a little bit about yourself. I am the son of a pastor, so I've been in church for all of my life. Uh, and God is my, one of my foundational scriptures is trust in the Lord with all yeah. my heart. Lean not into thine own understandings, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy paths. And ever since I've been a kid, I've had a connection with the Lord, and mm -hmm. he's been directing my path for many years now. Sometimes I tried to jump off the path that he <laughs> uh, had placed me on, but yeah. he has placed me on a divine path, and in mm -hmm. that path, he has blessed me to find a beautiful wife. The Bible she says he could find us a yes. good thing, find us a good wife. And I found her, the Lord placed us together mm -hmm. uh, many years ago. And I always tell her the first time I saw her, I uh -oh. knew that she was going to be my wife. <laughs> Interesting. I've always told her that I met her brother first when, we were, when I was in college up at Upstate over in Spartanburg. Mm -hmm. um, and through just going to churches and because we love music as you can yeah. see uh she sung on smith chapel baptist church choir oh, along yeah. with singing on the upstate choir as well and i was a musician there and the first time i laid eyes on this young lady right here i said lord i just want her to be my wife and <laughs> everything i've ever asked god for he's given me so he, wow. he gave her to me and guess what I never wanted to give her back. <laughs> I don't blame you. You know, the word of the Lord teaches us that when we delight ourselves in him, mm -hmm. he will give us the desires of, of our, our hearts. Heart. That's right. And so when you saw her, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do you think when you first saw him? Oh, why are you looking at me? That's what I thought. <laughs> Wow. But so it's, it, it's been a good thing. A yeah. Good, yeah. With with five kids in, it's been a, a good ride. And y'all been married how many years? It's 20, 30, 30, 30 years. Nice. Yes. Wow. 30. Yes. yes. Amen. <laughs> yes. Praise God. Praise God. So, and I know that you are, um, you both, so you're the first lady, you're the senior pastor, and you said your father was a pastor, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Lady Mills, Lady Jacqueline Mills. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She says she calls you bishop because <laughs> your father <laughs> was a bishop. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she I, said, oh, she said, because she asked, she said, who you having on? I told her, she said, oh, I call him Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. That, that's why, you know, when I talk about paths and the path being divine, it, it's, it's an interesting path that I am on because I was raised uh, in the Pentecostal church. Okay. And that's all I've known all my life. And that's what, so when God directed me and blessed us to come together, mm -hmm. it blessed me to see things in a different spectrum because, of course, she was raised in Smith Chapel Baptist Church there okay. in Campobello. So when God brought us together, mm. uh, wow. the path has just become incredibly, incredibly great because yeah. in on the path, uh, or while on this path, rather, God has blessed us to find Shady Grove Baptist Church. He Yay. sent us to Shady Grove Baptist <laughs> Church, and it has been a joy. Amen. It has been a joy for the last nine years. We just nine celebrated years. nine years wow. uh, pa uh, being the pastor there. The Lord actually sent us there 10 years ago as the interim pastor. Okay. <laughs> and while being there as the interim pastor, the Lord just married us. Uh, and we've been the senior pastor at Shady Grove Baptist Church, Pearls of South Carolina, ever since. So you've been married twice. Been married <laughs> twice. Been married twice. That's Amen. right. Praise God. That's a blessing. Yes, married to your beautiful wife and married to the church. And married that's to right. the church. That's that's awesome. That's a okay. I've heard you preach before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I heard you preach. Um, at Long Branch Baptist Church. Yes, ma'am. And then my sweet neighbor, Miss Jana Reed, she lives right next door to me. Mm -hmm. Her brother passed away, and so I attended her brother's funeral, her home going to serve. Yes, ma'am. And you preached in. And I said, wow, he is surely anointed by God, mm -hmm. right? And so I guess God has got me on a mission. <laughs> to bring some mighty men of God and women on the set on Nightline to celebrate you. Bless you. To celebrate the call of God that's on your life and to recognize that you have been chosen by Almighty God. I know you have a pastoral anniversary once a year Maybe twice. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes, even in between time, somebody needs to say, well done. Wow. You're doing a great job. Awesome. You've been recognized. Awesome. <laughs> so I want to bring you and your beautiful wife on tonight to celebrate you both and to say thank you. Wow. Thank you for your labor of love. Thank you for what you're doing in the church and in your community, because you're doing a lot of work in the community, right? Mm -hmm. yes, Tell us about some of the things you're involved in. I was, well, I'm still are involved. I sat on the board of Live Well for Live a well? number of years. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Live Well for a number of years, and I was introduced to Live Well by Pastor Dogan, because, you know, I sat under Pastor Dogan for some years. Uh, and Live Well has helped our church tremendously mm -hmm. because what it concentrates on is active living and healthy eating. Okay, I got you. All right, okay. because a lot mm -hmm. of times, me being a funeral director, when we would take bad families back for repast, we were eating the very thing that's killing us. Okay, I got you. And uh, we would serve it for repasses, we serve it for church anniversaries, we mm -hmm. serve it for everything, the macaroni, the fried chicken, yeah. uh, all of the greens with every piece of fat that we could find in it. So what Live Well uh, has done, and we've incorporated even in our own congregation, mm -hmm. is just teaching us or informing us how to eat better and how to okay. just even go for a walk so that your days upon the earth, yes. we all know we're going to check out, but we want to have a long time before yes. we check out. So yes. our days upon the earth may be long and prosperous. There's, there's no use in working all these years and retire. And when you <laughs> retire, you can't even travel because you yeah. didn't take care of your body while you were working and you, mm -hmm. can't, you can't enjoy the pleasures of retirement because you didn't eat a lot of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> fried chicken, but yeah, live well, uh, and we reach out into the community as well. We've partnered with some schools down in our area. Oh, wow. One of the greatest joys that we've done right before COVID is we uh, 
we went to Williamston and we did a praise in the park. And that okay. was a lot of fun. We had mm -hmm. some quartet, we had some choirs, uh, we had some of the local vendors come with their food trucks and we just had a good time down in mm -hmm. Williamston. So we, we try to incorporate in the community, but we also try to make sure that we are ministering mm -hmm. to our own with inside the walls of our church. Yeah. One of the things that I, I love about Shady Grove Baptist Church is that anytime God gives me a dream, because mm -hmm. I have a core group that I will go to and I ask, can y'all dream with me? Uh, they never turn the dream into a nightmare. Wow, mm. Sometimes God. we have to put the dream to bed for a little while, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the dream is never turned into a nightmare. Yeah. One, one of the greatest things I think I've seen in the last year or so um, that it touches my heart mm -hmm. because we know that within our churches, uh, uh, our churches are, or we have more women than than men in going to church, mm -hmm. and they we've we've already had a women's ministry, but it's really reinvented itself, and it's ministering to our women in the church. I'm gonna let First Lady talk about mm -hmm. the women's ministry just okay. for a moment. Okay. Yeah. Now. Please share. Yeah. Well, what how it evolved. There were so many, I kept bumping into so many women, mm -hmm. young women, mm -hmm. just struggling to live. Okay. And going to church, yet struggling to live, struggling to understand that there's hope. Okay. And a lot of them just felt isolated. And so I was meeting that group, and then myself was getting into my own fit because I'm aging, my children were aging, and then my mom's aging, you were caught kind of in the middle, and then my mom mm -hmm. was going through her late in life changes as well, and I mm -hmm. said, we've got to, if I'm feeling this way, there's got to be more women mm -hmm. who are also feeling this way. So we just branched out wow. to where each group, each age group was serviced and tended to, and given a platform to understand that you're not going through things all by yourself. Yeah. You're not the only one feeling a certain kind of way, but yeah. we find strength among the unity of women, yeah. like among the unity of people and mm -hmm. not being isolated. The devil causes or wreaks havoc mm -hmm. when you're in isolation. That is so and so true. we're just banding together and, and strengthening one another mm -hmm. uh, through the Word of God and well, through I, fellowship. I love your vision. And that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I love it and I love your heart and I'm glad that you are sharing sharing your vision tonight because you know by other women listening to you mm -hmm. you know I'm sure they'll want to connect with you yes because we got a whole lot more living God you, wants you, us to do you got that right <laughs> and he wants us to be strong that's right you know he don't want us to be weak and you know he wants to live a long health healthy, prosperous life. That's right. Yeah. So I'm thankful that you um, that you share that. And we're going to be sharing uh, some more. But I'm awfully glad, I'm awfully glad. I love it. <laughs> that you all are here with me on tonight. Tonight, we are truly blessed tonight to have uh, Pastor Her Herbert Edwards, Jr., his uh, beautiful, wi beautiful wife, First Lady Karen Smith Edwards with us tonight. And so right now, we're getting ready to go back to their choir, <laughs> Shady Grove Baptist Church Choir, and they're going to be singing, What's the Matter with Jesus? Amen. <laughs> What's the matter with Jesus? He's all right. 
tell you one thing, that Shady Grove Baptist Church choir can sing. <laughs> 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 to God be all the glory. Yeah. Um, we have some amazing prayer partners and as always we would love to hear from you and we want to thank you for calling us tonight and um, I want to read some of these prayer requests because we're going to be praying. We know they prayed for you, but we're going to pray again. Mm -hmm. Sandra called in. She said she's having problems with her vision heart, lungs, mm -hmm. and her throat. So Sandra, we know that we, God is going to heal you from all of this. Amen. Uh, Doris is weak and can't walk and she needs healing. So we believe in God for you, Doris. Uh, Patsy need healing for her eyes. I think she has, some, her mother has cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. And Becky needs healing for her teeth and her gums. Um, then somebody else called us to pray for family salvation. Yes. So we'll believe in God for you tonight. Mm -hmm. And so, Pastor, we only got a second. Will you pray over these requests for me real quick, mm -hmm. please, sir? Let us pray together. Yes. God, we love you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your awesomeness. Yes. We thank you for your power. Yes. Lord, you said anything that you ask in my name, it shall be given. So, God, now we're asking God for healing. Yes, Father. We're asking for healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of tonight. Jesus. Each prayer request that has yes. been made known unto you and unknown unto you on tonight, we ask God now that you send dispatch angels from heaven. Thank you, Lord. Lord, to heal mm -hmm. and to deliver right yes, now, God. Lord those who are care even caretaking for their loved ones right now thank we you ask jesus that you strengthen them lord yes father give them the faith right now lord to believe in you that once more and again you can do what the doctors say can't be done That's right. this is our prayer in the name of jesus name tonight of jesus. we pray amen. amen amen praise god praise god well thank you for that amen to god be all the glory right now we're getting ready to go back to shady grove baptist church choir and they're going to be singing everything amen amen <laughs>
everything to me. You're everything to me. One thing I want you to know tonight is that God is everything to me. And, you know, when uh, Pastor and his wife came on the set with me, and I even told the, the choir tonight, I said, you're at home. You know, I want y'all, I want them to feel at home tonight because, you know, we just want the Holy Spirit to have his mm -hmm. way in our lives. Pastor, when we came on the air tonight, I read from Ephesians 4, 11, and 12 where it reads, uh, he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And again, you know, when I 
saw you one day at the funeral home and I came to you and I said, would you come and be on, you know, Nightline? Because, you know, some, so many times pastors, you know, y'all stand out and so many times people take notice of your work and what you're doing as a pastor, a prophet, a teacher, and you don't realize it, you know. But I see you as a mighty man of God that's doing so many wonderful things in the kingdom. Why did you, does this, does this um, scripture, does this speak to you in any kind of way as being a pastor? It does in many ways. We're realizing that we're in a day now where God has to rise up anointed preachers. Okay. Because the church, I, I, I spoke with, I was talking with some pastors yesterday, um, and one thing that I think we are all are recognizing, and Pastor Broughton, I believe you can even recognize that in this day and time, the devil is pulling out every, every trick I believe that he has against mm -hmm. the church. Against the church. He does not want the church to prosper. He does okay. not want the church to continue to go forth. He does not want the church to grow, and he does not want the Holy Spirit in the church. We have right. buildings called churches, but he does not want the Spirit flowing in our churches. And as I told you, I, I grew up in the Pentecostal church, so one of the things yeah. that was said week in, week out when something traumatic would happen or when something would happen, uh, one of the old mothers in the church would say this, and I'm sure you've heard this, that the Lord is soon to come. Amen. <laughs> and I really believe in these times, if you, if you read Bible eschatology, I believe the Lord is really mm -hmm. preparing for his return. So he is calling bishops, he's calling wow. apostles, he's calling us right. as pastors mm -hmm. to stand fast and preach salvation, not That's preach right. judgment, mm -hmm. because the Holy Spirit will judge you in accordance, but preach salvation yes. so that we all, when he cracks that sky, Thank we you, all, Jesus. whether we're in the ground, or whether we're on, up on top of the ground, Thank you, when he Jesus. cracks that sky, that we all will be caught up to meet him in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. praise God. And that's what I just kind of wanted you to share tonight because so many people don't realize that, that the enemy is fighting the church. He is fighting. Yeah, he amen, is. praise God. And, you know, and he's calling forth pastors and, like I said, teachers and prophets and, and your wife, I know you're your teacher, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> I am. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you got that you got that teacher's anointing on your life, you know, among so many other gifts that you walk in. But one thing too I wanna ask you about your ministry, about your church. Why is this so unique from other churches? You know, I ask uh one of our production managers, he's actually one of our minister, production ministry managers. He's here with us tonight. So I asked him the same question so <laughs> I wouldn't get in trouble when I go back to church Sunday. And I asked him, I said, what, what, what actually makes us a unique church? Yeah. And he said, beside us being way out in the country, <laughs> <laughs> we are a unique church. Uh, as you hear our music ministry, which is an awesome music mm -hmm. ministry, our, our minister of music, our worship leader, our band, and our singers is just a remnant of, of what we have there at Shady Grove Baptist Church. We offer a variety of choirs from yeah. our, our, our sanctuary choir to a male choir oh, okay. uh, <laughs> to our generation of praise, which is would be considered our youth choir, and then our worship choir, our worship wow, team, which is with us God. on tonight. So we, in my heart, in, in my mind, and I've always stressed this even to our musicians in our music ministry, mm -hmm. that we begin service at 945. Okay. And a lot of, most Sundays we're out a little after 11. Mm -hmm. But from 945 to 11 o'clock, I don't want anyone thinking about what they're going through mm -hmm. or what they're struggling with. I want them to be it. I want it to be just like when you are on a space shuttle. You just feel the gravity lift and you lift away from what's pulling you down. So between wow. singing and the anointing of preaching and the anointing of praying, yes. our uniqueness is to to make sure that you do not leave the same way that you came. Amen. Oh my and goodness. And God has blessed us so much. We have ministers 
that can minister you to you at any level. We, we've got a prison ministry. We, wow, we're, we're trying God. to branch out and do so much. One of the sons of our church, Pastor T.J. Terrell, mm -hmm. he will be planting a church in the spring. And, that, and, that, and, and I'm so <laughs> proud of him because he's, step, awesome. he's stepping out on faith yes. as a young pastor to plant a church in which the Lord is leading him. So we are, we are unique in a lot of ways mm -hmm. because we try to minister, as I would say, from the crib to the grave. That's right. Wow, That's right. praise God, praise God. Mm -hmm. And so this is just a little joke right here, okay? But they come to see you about the grave, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, we have a lot of ministries at the church. We actually have a grave ministry there at the church. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Well, that is that's truly awesome. Tell us how important is faith to you? You said that your, your young minister is stretching out on faith. How important is that to you? One, God gave me this in 20, I believe 2016 to 2017. I was praying and he gave me the passage of scripture in which the gentleman tore the roof open and let the yeah. young man down through <laughs> mm -hmm. the roof. And I think I even preached a sermon, but, but I, one of our tags there at the church, if you ever see any of our information, you're going to see faith, praise, faith, prayer, and radical praise, or prayer, faith, radical praise. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And, and one of the things I believe that if you pray about it and God mm -hmm. gives you the vision or God Jesus. gives you the purpose that he is placing you on yes. in, yes. pray about it and walk by faith in it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. until God does it, give him a radical praise and praise him in advance mm -hmm. for the things that he's promised that he's going to give you. My Amen. God. Amen. My God. Amen. And then you talked about your favorite scripture is trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Mm. Why is that your favorite scripture? Because I've been trusting in him all my life. Like, <laughs> I, like I said earlier, I, I've learned to trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. In the good times, we, it's easy to trust. Okay. But the Lord has brought us on such a journey, and I'm, and I'm saying us. He's mm -hmm. brought us mm -hmm. on such a journey that Pastor brought and there were only times, that's the only thing we could do wow. is mm -hmm. trust in him. Uh, Praise God. I think sometimes a cliche is you don't know my story, you don't know my glory until you've seen yes. <laughs> or witnessed the Amen. story. Yeah. We, we have a, a yeah. story, and mm -hmm. we all, as we're walking in the body of faith, I believe yeah. all of us have a story yes. that we can tell to encourage That's other true. believers. When we see them going through what we went through, it's a mm -hmm. shame on you as a Christian mm -hmm. uh, to walk by them and not be able to pour back into them because someone poured into you when That's you were wow. down. Wow, praise right. God. That's right. Well, Pastor Edwards, I, you know, I, I know we only got a few more minutes, more minutes with you. I got to say more minutes, not more minutes, more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but can I get you looking at that camera and just encourage somebody's heart real quick for me that's maybe going through something in their, in their body, their mind, their spirit, their soul, whatever. A, story, uh, a passage of scripture comes to me out of 2 Samuel, I believe around the ninth chapter. A young man by the name of Mephibosheth was lame since he was a child. And the story goes on that later on, David called for Mephibosheth mm. to come to him. And he, David blessed Mephibosheth mm -hmm. to sit at his table. He gave him all of his, uh, his granddaddy's land back, which was Saul, he gave him the land. And he was able to sit at that table with David all the days of his life. Mm -hmm. What you saying, Pastor Edwards? What I'm saying tonight, that wherever you are down, wherever you mm, might be mm, crippled mm, in, mm. this Amen. is not the end of your story. Amen. Oh. Amen. This is not wherever you are right now, whatever chapter you're in, if you're going through sickness, if you're struggling, uh, uh, if things are coming against you, don't look at it as being this is the end of the story Amen. because God has a blessing for mm. you. Amen. The important thing is that you pray. Yes. Keep your faith. Yes. And when you can find a place to give God praise, praise Him in advance. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. For the things that are getting ready to come mm -hmm. in your life. Amen. Yes. This is not the end of your story. Amen. My God, my Amen. God. 
All right, Bishop, help us. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> I get that a lot. To my God father, be all the glory. Amen. Yes, ma'am. My father wasn't, he is, he's not gone yet. He, he, he's very instrumental in my life. Very powerful preacher. Oh, I can see very that. Very powerful yeah. ministry that, that, that he was over. And I thank God for me allowing him to be my daddy. I know, yes. I know. Yes. First lady, Yes. do you have anything you want to share real quick? No. Just to know that it's not the victories that encourage people, but it's your testimonies. <laughs> and testimonies don't come easy. The victories are the shout time, but the testimonies, the struggles that you came over, is yeah. what helped people to make it. Be ready to tell your testimony. Amen. Praise God. Well, y'all got to come back and tell y'all testimony Amen. sometime <laughs> or the other. And Pastor, you got to come back and preach. We got to just, just let you just let go and let God. We will be more than really delighted to. Where can we um, contact you? You can contact us by our website, uh, Shady Grove's website, via, via platforms of Facebook, YouTube. Okay. Instagram, you can reach us. God has blessed us with a phenomenal, phenomenal technical crew. Uh, and we, we are able to stream. So if you're not able to come physically to the church, yeah. you can set your living room, your, your bathroom, wherever room you're in, you can set it up like your sanctuary <laughs> and you can feel the presence of God right Amen. there where you are. Amen. And we got to make sure that when we locate your church, we got to make sure we put down pills or something. <laughs> please, please. Shady Grove Baptist Church, 140 New Shady Grove Road. Pelzer, <laughs> South Carolina. If you come, if you're coming down Highway 25, find Highway 8. And when you find Highway 8, I promise you'll start feeling the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and you'll know you're in the right place at the right time. So people going to be shouting this out the church door. Coming through the doors, waving your hand. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Are you, a, are you, I know that you are. No, I don't know that you are because you're such a busy man. But are you accepting any uh, ministry engagements? Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will actually uh, have an engagement coming up in October. I would be with Pastor Dr. Dr. Vaudrey Freeman at Poplar Springs Baptist Church okay. for his uh, pastoral anniversary. So we're looking forward to going over and just fellowshipping with him. Yeah. So do you have a, sp um, a specific time or schedule when you have your latest meetings or anything like that for your church? Or? We, will, yeah. will, we will be attending a, a meeting come um, November 2nd, <laughs> yeah. all of us will be, not all, but there are some who have decided to go with us to this conference on November 2nd. And then in November, we will have a potluck with all the groups coming together um, to, to just fellowship with one another. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be planning for the upcoming year. Wow, yes. praise God. I, can, I just want to encourage uh, the women to come to you to yes. come to wherever you are because you know you have such a gentle spirit and I mm -hmm. feel like they can come and feel free to open up and share yeah. you know what's on their heart so yeah. <laughs> yeah to God be all the glory well I tell you what time flies when you have a great time <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> but can I already put a little bid in to have y'all to come back with us another Absolutely. time most definitely. And share with love us. And to God be all the glory. I just want us to just uh, to love on God tonight. As you said, so many of uh, the, the enemy is fighting the church so hard. Yes, he is. Yes, and I just want is. us to just love on God and, and worship him and praise him. And, you know, and I want to thank you for being with us and bringing your choir. Amen. <laughs> you know, all the way from Pelham, South Carolina. Pelham, South Carolina. <laughs> To God be all the glory. And one thing, too, um, one thing I want to ask you about real quick, in Psalms 37 and 23, it says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord because he delighteth in his way. Is God ordering your steps? Every day, in everything that I do, he orders my steps. Mm -hmm. From the funeral home to the pulpit. Yes. He orders my steps. Yeah. And everything that I do in my life, whether it's work or whether Shady Grove, it's a ministry. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's how we look at even 
funeral service. It's a ministry because we're ministering to broken people. Right. So when I go to church, guess what? I'm ministering to broken people. So wow. I'm ministering to you physically and I'm ministering to you spiritually yeah. to try to lift you up. But he's ordered my steps. Yes. Trust me, he's ordered my steps. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, again, it's been my pleasure to have you with me. And I know you're going to go on the set with me in a few minutes. We're going to yes. pray out. But right now, I'm getting ready to go back to Shady Grove Baptist Church Choir. And they're going to be singing, Oh, How Gracious. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs>
we have truly been blessed. <laughs> it's been a blessing being with you. It's been a blessing to us. And your choir, oh my God, they are amazing. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Nightline tonight. You have a couple of requests you want to pray about? We're going to pray for a couple of requests, but we're going to pray for all. Spencer needs prayer. He's yes. mentally ill and is going to Baltimore to meet uh, uh, he's going to meet someone there. Mm -hmm. We're going to be praying for the healing of Richard in his body on tonight. Yes. We're going to be praying for Margaret Jean. She's mm -hmm. in need of prayer physically yes. and mentally. We're going to be praying for Lynn being uh, greatly disturbed by her neighbors. We're going to pray for a friend who has a kidney failure. Wow. We're going to pray Jesus. that God will Yes. Work will heal his body. Yes, Lord. We're going to pray that God will help this person who has mm -hmm. said, God, help me. Help we'll me. We'll stop right there. We're going to pray for everyone on this list. But like we said, the devil mm -hmm. is launching an attack on God's people. And we want to stand in prayer yes. for these who are on this list on tonight. Let's pray together. God, we love you yes, once more God. and again. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you once more and again, God, for blessing us. Yes, Father. Now, God, we're sending high prayers to high heaven that you will send these prayers to answer yes. these prayers and not let them be get held up. Thank but Lord, you, we're Jesus. asking for healing. Healing. Physically, Lord, yes, we're asking God. for healing tonight mentally. Yes, Father. Lord, we're asking for healing spiritually right now on right these now. names. On Thank this Jesus. prayer list on tonight, God, we know only you, God Jesus. can do it. Yes, God. So, Lord, if we trust and believe right now, right we know now. that all things are possible Thank you, through Jesus. him. We yes, love God. you tonight. We thank you tonight. God, we ask that you continue to bless Nightline, you, continue to bless our host, thank Pastor you, Jesus. Barton, Lord. Continue thank you, Jesus. to strengthen her and keep her, Lord. And yes, we thank God. you now for all things. Thank In you, Jesus' Jesus. name. Amen and amen. amen. Wherever you are tonight, just put your hands together. Amen. Shout hallelujah and amen. thank God praise for all God. things. And Pastor Ed was also, we had a praise report called in tonight praise too. Praise the Lord. Uh, someone called in and said she came home from the hospital and God blessed her with physical therapy. And the, the, the therapist came to her house and her wound, her nurse came and she's keep trusting God for prayer. So thank you for calling Amen. in tonight. Amen. To God be all the glory. And you know what someone else called in? I mentioned that before. Uh, they're praying for salvation, for family salvation. Yes. And I thank God that they're not just praying for themselves, but for their family in the name of Jesus. In the name of so Jesus. We, are, we are agreeing with you tonight. It's your whole household in the name of Jesus shall be saved Amen. in the name, in the name, of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Father, we want you to know we love you tonight. We praise you. We bless you. We're thankful for this awesome pastor, his beautiful wife, his whole congregation, his praise team, and everyone that came out tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs>